You've trained and worked hard, and now the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon is just around the corner. Hi, I'm Samantha Benson, Relay Chairman. And I'm Keely Bright, your Vice Chair. We run to remember and celebrate the lives of the 168 people killed in the Oklahoma City bombing and those who were changed forever. We are excited that you will be joining us as we change the course of the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon. Our new course and finish line reflect the changes going on in Oklahoma City right now. We're thrilled and hope that you are too. Not only are the relay exchanges in new locations this year, but we have also changed the numbering of our relay exchange zones. The relay distances remain the same. However, the order has changed for 2019. The first and second legs of the relays are 10Ks. The third leg is a 12K. And the fourth and fifth legs are now 5Ks. The relay exchange zones have all changed with the new course. Relay exchange zone one is the first exchange. Here, the first runner exchanges to the person running the second leg of the race. Relay Exchange Zone 2 is where the second relay runner exchanges with the third runner. Relay Exchange Zone 3 is where relay runner number 3 exchanges to relay runner number 4. And finally, Relay Exchange Zone 4 is where the fourth runner exchanges to relay runner number 5. Relay runner 5 runs the last leg of the race to the new finish line at Hudson and Sheridan. Bus transportation is provided by the Memorial Marathon. Relay runners can use the shuttle since early road closures and locations make it difficult to park or be dropped off. Next is finding your relay exchange point. Look for the signage directing relay runners where to go. Relay signs will match the color on your bib. For Relay Exchange Zone 1 at the State Capitol, Relay Runner 1 will continue north on Lincoln Boulevard. The relay runner needs to stay in the left-hand lane of Lincoln Boulevard as the exchange zone veers to the left just before Northwest 21st Street. Once the exchange takes place, Relay Runner 2 will make a right on Northwest 21st and then rejoin the marathon course on Lincoln Boulevard. Runner number 2 should be aware of the marathon and half marathon split that takes place at Chartel and Northwest 41st Street. Relay runners stay on Chartel heading north with the full marathon course. Follow the full marathon green signage. As Relay Runner 2 approaches Relay Exchange Zone 2 at Northwest Claston and Wilshire, Runner 2 will make a left on Wilshire. The exchange zone will be on your right. Relay Runner 3 will then continue west on Wilshire with the marathon course. For Relay Exchange Zone 3 in Nichols Hills, Relay Runner 3 will make a left turn onto Huntington, go one block east, and then turn south onto East Grand Boulevard. They will make the exchange with relay runner number four near Bedford. Relay runner four will make a right on Bedford and then a left on Grand Boulevard to rejoin the full marathon course. For relay exchange zone four on Northwest 31st and Classen, relay runner four should be in the left lane of Classen as they approach Northwest 31st and the 7-Eleven parking lot where exchange zone four is located. This is where the final leg of the relay is exchanged. Relay Runner 5 will go back on Classen and continue on the full marathon course until the finish line. As runners approach all relay exchange zones, spotters will call out team bib numbers. It's impossible to call out every team's number, so it's important that you know your team members and have some way to identify them, like matching shirts or other identifiers. The exchange zones are very crowded, so please be respectful of the runners exchanging and stay off the course until your runner arrives. It's time to celebrate. If your entire team would like to cross the finish line together, make sure all team members have on their bibs. Enter the course safely at Northwest 4th and Hudson when relay runner number five approaches the area. All medals are awarded at the finish line. Runner five can pick up all five medals or your entire team may cross the finish line together to get their medals. Remember, there are no medals awarded at any of the relay exchange zones. So exactly where do you catch the buses for the relay exchange zones? What about bibs and your timing chip? And what hydration gear are you allowed to wear on the course? Those answers in our next report.